How are you going to go this weekend? I'm not sure. I'm just going to go out, race my hardest, and just see where I end up, basically. So, yeah. And what's your ultimate goal, your ultimate dream? Probably to get a few championships, titles and that stuff. Run the number one plate, probably. We'll, we'll just see how it goes, and hopefully I get there. We really appreciate you taking the time to chat. Thanks so much. No problem. Thanks so much. That Thank was you. great. You Thank you very much. You obviously do a lot of media. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's great. Heard there's donuts for you in the press conference. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Set it up. That's the go. Good. Good. I think you can beat your brother in Supercross next year. Oh, that's not you even. A, bets going, so that's not a question here. at all. What's that? We already know I'm going to beat him. <laughs> He's not a problem. Uh, okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just I'll just have to tap his knee and we'll be out again. <laughs> oh. no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> It's funny, uh, Jet made some jokes when he came to Monster Energy Cup that were probably not off color to most people, but especially in America and most of the world in general, we are getting more and more politically correct where anything you say can and will be used against you. And he even had a conversation with some people from Jet's team and they said, you're a media guy, do you think he's pushing it too far? And I said, for most riders, yes. But for a teenage Australian dirt bike racer, I think you gotta let it all go. I think that's what people would expect him to act like and I think he gets a free pass on things that you wouldn't give to a 30-year-old American. He's a 16-year-old Australian kid. People expect him to act that way, and it's kind of refreshing that someone at least can get away with that. Hey, it's like uh, it's um, Ricky standing next to a normal-sized person. <laughs> oh, it's your hero. <laughs> hey, Ricky, is that you with like? Normal people, the little Pretty guy. Much, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Well, the little bit that I've seen from Jet and talking with him, and what I know from him uh, that Johnny O'Mara tells me, uh, he's definitely he's definitely a little loose. How does it feel getting roasted by a sixteen-year-old? Uh, <laughs> Absolutely, respect for the king. He can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> it is until I stand on my wallet and then I'm like, "Let's get a bite." Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> As long as he can stay loose like that and still answer the bell each weekend, then good on him. Shows a lot of character, has fun, he's going to be great on social media, great TV interview. Uh, that's important and I think it's something that the fans will gravitate towards. I like this guy's style. Man, it's cool. Then I just put a few extra socks on and I'll be back to all right. <laughs> Hey, if it was me, it would be no brain. <laughs> As you see, Jet, there's not much of a filter. <laughs> Which is sometimes like, ooh. But I don't know what I don't know if he knows what's gonna come out of his mouth, so it's pretty exciting. <laughs> America don't have crap about me pies. They barely know what it is. We'll get you a kangaroo pie, brother, see if you're right in. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I have like a donut like mixed into a pie or something. A, a meat a meat donut, yeah. If it works for him and it's not a, it doesn't become a distraction or he's too worried about being being loose, then uh, I'm off. Alright, 100% Jet Lawrence. Get focused. It's really difficult in motocross, uh, the ages of riders and how successful they can be at a young age is pretty wild compared to most other professional sports. Now the good thing is there appears to be a really strong relationship between Jet Lawrence and his dad, also his brother. The whole family is all in on this, but they're in on it together. Turn before the whoops is too greasy. Yeah, you might have to go back into the bar, come out with speed, rah, 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 and go across your whoops. Right, I get on. Now every motocross racer has had a dad involved. It's impossible to be involved without the dad being involved at a very high level, but we have seen a lot of those relationships break, and then that's when the rider starts to go off the rails. Ready? Yep. Once the forks warm up, they'll be right. There's that cold oil. Alright, so focus on you and no one else. 
Ride the track in its merits, as in, okay, that's a bit greasy, I'll do this because it's greasy. I oh, know that's mint, I'll do what I normally do, you know? So you just focus on you and no one else. So it appears that Jet and his brother Hunter still have that relationship with the dad, and it should serve them well, because when you're 16 years old and all this fame is coming at you so quickly and in another country, there's a lot of chances for that to go wrong. So it appears right now that things are on the right track. Is that in the works? Yeah, well, it's lighting up. I think you still got to try and get around there and get that fifth. Yeah. Yeah. Slippery, yeah. Because I think the whoops are a little still slick, so I think your fifth is going to track across them better. Um, so you have to go two gears over that ski. Track was a little slick, but I just told him to take his time, you know, don't do them silly. So he did, so it was good. Get through the first one and then, then he can uh, download that information, you know, and get it absorbed and then work out, all right, how do I improve for the next one, you know? So no, that's good. Every minute of the day is about, I gotta get up and go to work at five and some, some of the boys that worked for me knew it was like you'd work from six o'clock in the morning till three in the afternoon, then bring the van home, unload the materials, throw the bikes in. So your, your day revolved around making sure they got ride time. They did their training. We sacrificed everything. It was more of a fact of trying to teach our kids to, if you want something, you have to work for it. Many parents would be like this our whole life, but obviously we went the next extreme and sold everything and moved to Europe because let's go and, and, and give it our all. You just never know where you'll, where you'll get to. He comes from a great family. Uh, they didn't have a lot. They sacrificed a lot. Those are feel-good stories to me when kids come from nothing and then they, you know, they, they blossom and they become something. They're out there on the start line on the grids. Come on! Yeah. No, fing signings. Come here to race a bike, not fing sign paperwork. <clears throat> Just in time. Righto. So you got your factory tire on the rear now, so work out a way, come round through that corner, wrap fifth gear and accelerate through your whoops, you know? How'd yeah. you go on that rhythm lane? I haven't even got to talk to you since you did your f***ing practice. Yeah, I've been all done. Well, f*** that shit. We come here to race bikes, not to sign shit. Yeah, it's this double, double three. Then I go either on, off. Yep. Or you can go three over, which I You can't make the three. Like, 
You can't get the double no. three. What about if you wheel tap? Still going too fast. You have to okay. like slow down for it. I get okay. it. Okay. And but I think their step on on off fast because you just go rap rap. Okay. Where with the over you can't go rap. Yeah. Trying into back side of it. Done. Okay. But you're second off the pace. You're in sixth place. So okay. let's see if we can just find a little bit in all yeah, our I'll corners. Find that. Yeah. I think I got six on there. I could probably get a few tents in here and there. And a few spots. Just uh track's pretty greasy so it's hard to try and find tractions in a few spots. But um yeah we'll just see and see how we go in the next one. Faster when I went inside or outside for the loops. Because you're still tentative on that flat shit, you still need to load that front, settle that front a little more on that section. So there, then when you go that next rhythm lane, you come off that single and you go across like the start straight, turn right. Yeah. There's no landing and rah, and aggression. You just land, I accelerate in. You know, there's a half a bike there, there's a half a bike around after the finish line where you're coming around. Just, you just smooth and neat, but nothing like, Oh yeah, where's my side knob feel? Where am I? Oh yeah, there it is. And, and carrying that momentum. For sure, every <clears throat> two to three weeks, you light them up, <laughs> give them the facts, you know, and it, uh, uh, and it brings them back down. But I think that's, that's just parenting. Every parent would, would agree to that, that their kids do good for two weeks and then all of a sudden you've got to light them up, you know, and bring them back down to ground. Just when before the finish line, that berm, try and land and out. You know, because if you go all the way around, it's a lot of distance for a double that you don't really need to get, you know what I mean? So you really got to get in, turn out, and get, and get on the power. But when you come out of there, you're going, bruh. Yeah. There's no like, Rah! If your bike's going, bruh, you obviously, you know, there's more to be gotten there, you know? Yeah. You hear that? Um, come and have something to eat to start with because you've had no decent food. For the past 22 years, motorcycles have been my life. But the time has come <laughs> that 2020 will be my final season. Yeah, it's pretty amazing that it's going to work out where Chad Reed, who has been carrying the flag for Australia for so long in the United States, many other great riders have come, but none of them have reached even near the success that Chad Reed had. And we've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And now it's finally happening here late. Jack coming in possibly and could take Chad's role. Really good story if he was able to do that. And I'm pulling for him. I, I think it would be great for the country of Australia. You can't take shortcut heat race, can't you? Hey? You can't take, can you take no. shortcut heat race. No, 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 no. Only one time out of one time out of the three finals, you know. 30 seconds in sideways. Five? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what I think might really help with Jet is if he can get the Supercross thing figured out. There's been a lot of Australians who are good at motocross and pretty good at Supercross, but Chad Reed's trademark is Supercross was always his thing. We're gonna see if Jet's talent really translates into indoor style racing. I've gotta think it's gonna do big things for the sport in Australia to have that guiding light, because that's what Chad was for the longest time. It's just taken a long time for someone to potentially reach those heights again.
environment in the yeah, woods. Yeah, it's so. a good save. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, he, did, he did it the other day and he wheel tapped out of it. Uh, That's pretty good for the first time out. Yeah, it's not bad. So what was he just? Up. I just say, I just told was, him. Are we rushing it, into the start of him, you think, well, in the middle? Well, I don't think he's rushing in the start because did you see how it happened? All the, he just started getting too he, happy. He was driving he's through like, the rear, yeah, 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 trying to go faster. That's all. Yep, okay. So just nice, stay nice and neutral on the bike and you'll be fine, dude. Just, you just drove a little bit too much yep. on your on your shock yeah, start, and just hooked up. Hey, exactly. did you see me seat bounce and my yeah. hand came off? Yeah. No. 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 Here he is. No, you, have, you raised really well. You learn, you know? That's, the, that's what you came here to do. Good job, boys. Thanks, Ricky. I felt pretty good. I needed to calm down. The whoop's a little bit sketchy there. Almost did a Larry loop out. But um, got some, got, made a little bit of pass, but uh, loss was just better than me and the whoops because they would get me back. But um, it's all feeling good. Track's pretty good. We'll just see how it goes to the main event. Pretty hard to pass, but... It is what it is, and we'll see how it goes. Good job, bud. Really good start. Who got you just inside, or? No, um, Regan Duffy went over the dirt. Oh, did he? He came in so hot, just went, bro. <laughs> did he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you uh, pump to get my no hander on the, uh, one hander on the, when did, when did you do the no-hander? Well, not no-hander, one-hander. Was, it was throttle also. I went and seat bounced so ba back so hard that the bike just went drove. I, my hand just went woof. <laughs> and it pulled the front brake also when I did some front wheels <laughs> like this. I'm like, oh shit. You were idiot. I was like this. Yeah. Oh, was that the triple on step yeah. off when it went like that in the angle? Yeah. I seen that. I'm like, whoa, Jetson. Getting I a bit like, saucy. Ooh. Hold on to her. Hey, you did well. Bit of sauce. Yeah, that was gold, and I had a chuckle at that. I was like, whoa, Jetson. If Johnny was watching. Oh. <laughs> Johnny would just be on the couch, just like this. Oh, my oh goodness. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jet, what are you doing? Uh, he's dead. <laughs> Jet is that kid where you'd walk up the start line, he'd be sitting on the bit of timber over the side, just like, oh, you know, you know, so relaxed. I see a little bit now, as he gets older, he's starting to get a bit more serious and really, oh, gee feeling the weight of what he's about to do. Generally, 80% of the time, Jet's like, yeah, let's have fun. Let's, let's race dirt bikes. It's another race for me. So like, yeah, I'm going pro, but like it's, it's got to turn, got to jump, start straight, gates, same thing. Uh, Blues took a good, uh, that good one. Right. I was going to go with the same gate before, but he took it. Okay. And I don't want to be too tight where I'm like trying to go like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just remember, if you got the thing, I close them down. You know what Supercross is like? You close them down. You take control. Right, hit your marks. Hit your marks. Go for your start. Hit your marks and give us Jet Lawrence for 21 laps. Monster Energy gates come down. We're underway. The first of three finals. Jolly Jolly makes makes two laps. Sorry about that. Down the inside. Has to survive that first turn. But look who's in the lead. It is Jet Lawrence with the whole shot. Oh but now Chris Blows, who is one of the riders in title contention, doesn't have time to wait for the story of Jet Lawrence. He's got to go to the front right now on the number three. Mitchell Oldenburg now around Lawrence for third. Nice work.
work. Really good through the woods. <laughs> good work. No, that was good. Um, really good. The only thing they were getting on, I thought, was the whoops. Then you dialed that yeah. in. Everything else, I think you're pretty good, you know? I can't see over there, so I'm not sure. But Dude, they gave me in the row and they had long the freaking their legs, I couldn't soak it up fast enough. Yeah, that's where they gapped out, was in that where you had to roll Don't shit. Don't worry about it, just learn. Yeah. Don't yeah. learn. I was double guessing it. myself if I should go inside or if he was going to go outside. And I was like, kind of oh, late, gotcha. and he went outside. So I'm like, damn it. That's right. That was yeah, good. Just learn from those guys. Really, that's all really you, good. That's all you can do, man. Really, really good. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, you kept it on two wheels, you didn't have any moments. Yeah. yeah. You're going to get Whoops, better, I just dude. Had it in fifth, and then I just stayed central at the yep. back. Drive. It was. That's it was good. really nice. Really good. Yep, you're doing great, dude. So consistent. Yeah. And that's how you can learn, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trying to go, trying to go faster than you need to yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, no, no, spot on, spot on. He drives, he drives that bike so good after the gate. Locked in and like powered to the ground. Yeah, Ryan and Johnny all, all said, man, that's hard to teach. Yeah, yeah, no, like he a lot of stuff he can teach. Like Ken's really good at that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Just yeah. Like, how he shifts his shifting points like yes 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 Ooh, all right. it's always in the perfect part of the power curve you know yeah. torque and stuff right we gotta put a hole shot in on the how long we got my brake's going away is it yeah. all right it'll keep coming back let the brake go for a minute right i pump it up right i give him shit again mate same thing Take that this time. Yeah. It's a whole shot. Good starts. Really good, mate. Really good. Excellent. I came in sideways then and hit the thing went pop. Hey, <laughs> if you're gonna go like to pass someone, don't go to try to pass them and then not make the pass. Okay? Like, don't even attempt to pass them okay. if you can't make complete it. Because if you do, you lose too much time. See what yeah. I'm saying? So if yeah. you're, you're gonna yeah. dive inside. Make sure you make the pass, otherwise you lose too much time. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, true, true. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. It looks cool. I haven't seen anyone go. Oh, it's a bit like a little It's fun to watch. Uh, my, one of my main mentors, Johnny O'Mara, you know, uh, helped me win so many races and now he's helping Jet, so I kind of feel obligated to uh, help him out and, and, and pretend like I'm uh, Johnny here helping. It's the last one for season 2019. One of the
of the most main things my dad's taught me is that this world doesn't really take no, uh, you yeah, know, second places really. Renko shortcut comes into play. You'll see more of that throughout the night. Good stuff. It was Jed Lawrence taking advantage to move up to second. When you go to jump a fence, you don't aim to clip your, your ankle on it and fall flat in your face. You aim to jump the fence. So that's what you aim for. Same as this weekend. And why not? Why not? Why not have a go? You know? And give Australia someone to cheer for. The jet is on fire here in the final. <laughs> go, Jensen! Jet Lawrence has lit up this crowd at Marvel Stadium. The young Australian has taken the lead. <laughs> have a spoonful of cement. Just, you know, toughen up, really. <laughs> There's Lawrence aboard the 49. What a way it would be in his pro debut to wrap up the night here at Ozex Open. Gets a little ragged there, though, on the 49. Yeah, the whoops almost got him again. That was the entrance of the corner after the whoops. He got sideways, barely got a stop. Lawrence, one more time to the whoops, and Oldenburg is hoping for one more opening. He's got it. Can he execute? Lawrence escapes with the lead. racing with the big boys. Yes. Perfect. Got some hole shots. Got past. You know, led for a little battle. Every little thing you wanted to learn out this weekend. Made a mistake on the last lap. Thinking about it. So, perfect. Really, really good. Last lap. <laughs> hey, don't be lucky, Rose Ray. That was awesome. Dude. And I had to win that one job, to get man. third. Uh, I got fourth. Damn it. I thought I just had to beat him. Hey, uh, okay. happy and healthy, you learned a lot. Remember, big picture, long career. Damn it, dude. I literally stood out at the start yeah. and I couldn't clip it. Dude, if I didn't slide at all, I think I would have got it. Working on the wood, Dan, and you'll be fine. Oh, dude. <laughs> How many moments, like? Yeah, we grabbed it, baby. 15 minutes. <laughs> I shit myself. Oh, my God. I started it up. We were standing over there. We were like, <laughs> yeah, my helmet, I was like, <laughs> Get out of the way! <laughs> <laughs> that was good, man. Awesome. Oh, oh, yeah. At least I went out with a bit of a back kick. Yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy yeah, it was so fun. Cool. Get some water in it. Definitely got the crowd going. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? I think Jet absolutely has the tools for greatness. His riding style is like you don't see very often. We've seen a lot of fast riders through the years from Australia, from America, from Europe, wherever. But to see someone who looks that in control at that speed, it really makes it look like the potential is off the charts. So the tools are there. There's going to be many, many challenges both on and off the track to manage that. So we'll see if that impacts him, but absolutely it appears that he's got everything he needs to reach greatness. Okay. Didn't win, but hey, donuts are donuts, so let's. Oh, it's got a Tim Tank, come on. Don't be do it. Why are you gonna do me like that now? Yeah. Oh, it's it's stuck in there. Damn. Oh. Ready? Mm. So good. I didn't win, but can't complain about donut. Thanks very much, uh what's the name? Thanks very much, Cooper. I appreciate it. <laughs>